what is the Delta? The Delta is kind of like being in a whole different world. The scenery is all the time, year round, spectacular and amazing and breathtaking. Hi, Mama. Hi, honey. How was your day? All right, how was yours, sweetie? One of the biggest challenges that parents have here in the Delta is exposure. Because a lot of kids, if they only see what's right here, they won't know there's a bigger world out there and other things out there that they can be a part of. We're testing things like dissolved oxygen, the temperature and pH to basically be able to monitor what fish and invertebrates need and how to test the water to make sure they're getting what they need. We decided that even though we have fish ponds in the community, uh, they weren't accessible for us. So we made a very small fish pond, just a student pond where we can test water quality right outside. Uh, there's catfish in here, channel catfish. They were donated from the USDA. Go ahead and get deep because uh, they are. They, a lot of the catfish will be at the bottom. They're not coming up. They were looking at uh, the number of fish that they had. They started off with 25 fish, and they were trying to catch a fish so they could look at the fish. <laughs> They're not too densely stocked. You want me to give it a shot? This may be one of the reasons we're a little short on catfish. I'm not afraid of snakes. Remove the snake safely. We're expecting catfish, then we got a snake. You know, surprises happen like that all the time in science and in real life, and that, that's a good example. Never expected it to happen. There you go. What is this? No. There were bones lying on the banks of the pond. All that illustrates the excitement of the program, but we use those as learning tools or learning examples, and that's always exciting to me. Oh, we got goldfish. We got goldfish. Oh, we got one. Yay. Since we don't have any catfish today, we might as well sample the, the surviving goldfish. test fish. I like whenever the students are involved and excited. If they're excited about it, I get excited about it. Read. Aspiring marine biologists will measure it. I'm a hands-on learner, so it makes it easier for me. I can come face to face with it and learn how to do it myself. It registers in my brain and I keep it there because I have done it. It is saved, ready for a new sample. All right, go ahead and put all the the biggest on. challenge to STEM relative to this area is like of exposure to equipment. We've furnished our partnering schools with equipment that they probably would not be able to obtain. If we didn't have this equipment, they'd never know what a nitrate test was or you know, a dissolved oxygen test. You know, they see this technology and then realize you know, this could be their chance. They could go to college and you know, get a degree in something like this. And this pretty much puts them on the same plane as you know, the other bigger schools. Where do they get their oxygen, first of all? Water. water. From the water? Okay. How do they get it from the plants in the water? How else might they get oxygen? You give them the backgrounds of science and agriculture, and then when they go in the field, they can see and apply the knowledge they already have. Our partner in industry furnished the pond. They also, in essence, loaned us a person to help guide us through some of the tests that we run, guide us through the testing cycle that they do. You want to get it in and twirl it. All the what is exciting to me is about how they breed the fish and the way that the fish may interact due to the different uh, the, the temperature of the water, the dissolved oxygen, and the pH because I, I noticed that these things play a major role in the way the fish can be raised and how much money that he can make by producing such amount of large fish. It shows us the data. You got temperature, DO, and pH. But some of the data is all over the place. Whenever we have something that we're not too sure about, what, what should we do? Recalibrate re re it and retest it, that's correct. When something goes wrong, they're not disappointed. They know how to fix it. They know basically how science works. We'll do our pond water. You can start collection now if you like. And we're trying to get more underrepresented groups into the sciences, particularly females. That's as important as increasing the test scores. They can pursue things that are related to their surroundings, food sources. 
now with global warming or the lack of food for the whole human race, this is a way that we can mass produce a food source. If you're not sure about a career, having it hands-on helps you decide whether you want to really go into that career or not. I want to be one of the minorities to go into science or math to make a career and it make a difference. It involves a lot of critical thinking. You have to think outside the box. And knowing how to think, you can succeed in other areas.